Welcome. Welcome to today, to this moment, and to this opportunity to be together in community. Welcome to Unitarian Church North. This congregation is a place where we can learn and be together. We're not here because we've figured out life's questions or because we think we've got it right. We come here to learn more about being in relationship together, how to listen, how to forgive, how to be vulnerable, and how to create trust and compassion in one another. We gather to worship, our hearts alive with hope that here we will truly be seen and that here we will be welcomed into this garden of community where the simple and the elegant, the fluted and the frilled, the shy and the dramatic complement each other and are treasured. May we know that here each contributes in their way to the beauty of the whole. Come let us worship together. All genders, colors, sexualities, and politics, may we root ourselves in the values of this faith, justice, equity, and compassion. For ours is a congregation that offers the warmth of a caring community and the light of religious freedom. I'm Jackie Orozco, Director of Religious Education here. Our service today comes to us from the Reverend Tony Larson, who we're grateful to welcome back to our pulpit again. Just a few quick announcements before we get going this morning. One, about equal exchange. All equal exchange fair trade product order forms are due to UCN's office by noon today. Products will be distributed on Sunday, December 9th. Thanks to all of you who placed an order. Also, this is coming from our communications committee. Visitors to UCN will now learn a little bit about Unitarian Universalism as soon as they enter our church. You might have noticed artist Sue McAvery, who facilitates the Art Oasis group that meets here on Thursdays, created a painting of the UU symbol, a flaming chalice for the lobby wall. Her painting is modeled after the chalice in our sanctuary. That's right there. Reverend Sarah Oberg, in her July 29th sermon, explained the history of the flaming chalice as a symbol of the Unitarian Universalism, and she traces it back to the 1400s when Jan Hus became the first doctor of theology in European history to be martyred for his faith. You can read about it in their most recent issue of the North Liner, and you can hear about the sermon on UCN's YouTube channel. Two other announcements. One, with our children, we have a tradition every December of running a holiday store. Our holiday store will be active December 9th and December 16th, those, those Sundays, um, so that we can kind of get a little bit of Hanukkah and a little bit of Christmas in there for shopping. So um, what the, happens is people bring in donations of items that they'd like to kind of clean house a little bit and get rid of, <laughs> nice things that um, they just don't want to keep around anymore, knickknacks, stuff like that. And the kids bring in things. We are doing a collection for a men's shelter this year. And so they're coming in with different items for that shelter to donate. And with their items that they bring in, they're buying their, um, their gifts. So it's an exchange of donation for donation. And it's really nice because they get to pick out something special for the people in their family and, um, and wrap that up and have the joy of giving and not just receiving during the holiday season. So it's a pretty nice tradition and the kids look forward to it every year. Right, Ruby? Yeah. <laughs> so be looking around your house as you're setting things up this holiday season and see if there aren't some things that you might want to part ways with. Lastly, during the order of service today, after the prayer and meditation, we are going to go right into the song Spirit of Life without announcing it. So I just wanted to draw your attention to that, that after the prayer and meditation, we won't be announcing hymn number 123. We'll just be going right into it. So when you hear the music, be ready to, to join in for that. All right. So now, uh, let us greet one another willing to be authentic with each other, honest within ourselves, and opening to connection in all its forms. When you hear the song, Come, Come, Whoever You Are, please wrap up your conversations and join in with the words printed in your order of service. <laughs> 